So guys, yeah. I'm walking around. All that. I'm very swollen. Very swollen. But I see a difference. All I know is I gotta start working out now. When I for, when I heal, I think after a month I could start working out. Uh, let me show you a little. <laughs> a bitch about to be snatched. I'm sorry, I forgot. But this is freaking YouTube video, so I gotta hold the camera like this and talk. Let me fix my shirt. I'm very swollen. They took seven liters of fat. Uh, my stomach. I have padding under here. My fascia. This is my fascia again. That trying to be gross. You can't really see my cuckoo. My cocoa. <laughs> but this is, there's an opening under the fascia for you to pee. This is coming out of here. So don't think it's like, you know, blood in my freaking vagina or anything. And to be even more embarrassing, this is the diaper I bought because I felt like I didn't want to, I didn't want to dirty my underwear. I said, let me just, uh, I'm watching this movie, but let me just buy freaking diapers. I got my water, my pills I gotta take. Uh, this one is, I can't say that, but Ceph. Cephalexin. This one is uh, oxycodone, and then this one is Ar Arnica, Montana. This one is for pain and relief. This one is for, I think, pain and swelling. <sighs> this one is for infections. So nothing can get infected. But yeah, I'm about to put my little diaper on because I'm a big baby right now. Uh, the first 24 hours, you should have someone with you. Uh, my man, he, I dropped myself off to get the, the surgery. Uh, he picked me up. I left my car over there. So later on, he's going to pick it up with his friend. Um, this morning, well, all last night, oh my God, this guy was taking care of me. He actually was the one to put my diaper on. <laughs> and he made me something to eat. He rubbed, he lightly rubbed my stomach. Just so I could fall asleep and not be so nervous or anxious. Uh, this morning, he had to leave. He's been waking me up <laughs> twice a day to take a little walk. And he covered the whole bed so I don't leak. So far, I'm not leaking on the bed, which, well, which I don't think. Yeah, I have this little covering because this bed was expensive. Anyway, uh, this is my Faja again. I know people going to be asking. It came with, uh, they gave it to me. And I have another one. And I'm going to buy another one. So, they told me that I don't need to get massages. But I'm going to. Because it just makes sense to me. Like, to rub the, the liquid and everything. Move everything around. They say I don't need to, but I'm going to. But, yeah. I'm going to keep checking in. Because... I want to tell you guys everything that I'm going through. Uh, my fiance, he'll be here. Uh, I'm sorry for saying, uh, right now I'm like drowsy. And I'm just winging it right now. My nose is stuffy again. I don't freaking know why. Maybe because my window is open. But I'm about to put my diaper on. <laughs> Today I had to eat with soup. I couldn't finish eating it. I, I couldn't finish eating it. I just don't have an appetite. So what I did is pop some popcorn, lay it on the side of my bed. But then my fiance called and said, that's not a good idea to eat salt because that's water retention. Sorry, I got a burp. So I just ate cereal. Like some, uh, let me put this down. 
Uh, I just ate cereal. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay back down because I'm just walking a little just to get my walks in. Because if you don't walk, if you don't walk, you uh, can get inflammation in your legs, which leads into infections. I don't want that, so I'm gonna walk as much as I can. And I took my pain medicine, so I'm not in pain right now. The most pain I've been is trying to get up from laying down. That's the only, only annoying thing, but I know he's supposed to be here the first 24 hours, but I kind of told him last minute because I had an appointment uh, February. I had an appointment the 28th, but then I had to change it because I forgot that I have a co-worker that's going on vacation. So, um, yeah. So, yes, like I was saying... I'm about to put my diaper on. I'm wearing my faja. This is all padding. Don't think I'm just rolling and all that. That's padding under the faja. Later on, he's going to change it for me. Put some uh, maxi pads on there. And yeah. So, bye guys. I'm going to record again. Fast forward. Again, all of this is going to be all in one video. It might be long. So, yeah. So guys, I just, I'm sorry I'm out of breath. It's just I had to roll out of bed, walk, and then do a whole bunch of stuff and get right back into bed. But basically, my fiance came and he changed my, my gauze and we used pads. And it was just, it was just too much. It was very painful. But to the point, I started crying. And that's because it's kind of hard not to press on the incisions or, you know, the area that hurts. It's kind of hard not to because the way they taped me up. Sorry. Again, I'm using my phone. The way they taped me up. It was just a lot like you got to slowly remove it because it's just they over taped it which I can't complain because I'd rather have a over taped than under taped um, you know secured incision covering but it was just a lot to take in like I was just crying <laughs> and I felt like I was gonna pass out because I was standing for too long I want, to stay, I want to say I was standing for like 20 minutes. And then in two more hours, I got to get back up and walk again because I'm supposed to walk every two hours. That way, no clots happen. I got to keep an eye for my ankle, my calves, all of that. And then to top it off, I forgot to take my pain meds. So, like... The last hour, I forgot to take my pain meds. So when I was doing all of that, I was not under any drugs. So, yeah. It, and then to top it off, right when I was about to, you know, get ready, I see these these people, they didn't even give me two fajas. They gave me one. They told me they were going to give me two. So I called. I was like, where is the other one? They said, when I go to my um, pre-op appointment I'm at post-op what well, I don't after my operation appointment um, they'll give me my second one so I'm just laying here in this bloody shit right now so tomorrow when I take a shower I'm gonna throw it in a wash for a quick minute with pine saw I read online on YouTube someone told me it's best to wash it in pine saw and then uh, it says hand dry, but if you only got one faja, how can how can it be air dried? I don't get what they want me to do, so I might I might get my fiance to run to Macy's and get me a faja because this is ridiculous. So that's one con that I have with these people. After that, they're very awesome, but and I saw my uh, my um, stomach and my 
back and oh my gosh I look like how I did uh two years ago like when I was working out it's just I know that people are gonna go like how come you didn't just work out <sighs> don't ask me that question it's because I'll answer it again it's because I'm at my heaviest that I ever weighed in my life I never thought I, would, I could be this weight and that's 200 pounds. And that's me coming to California for two years. I lived here for two years. And before, you know, I weighed about, I'm going to say 160. Um, two years ago, I weighed 160. And then I went to Haiti at the, 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 on December 2016. I went to Haiti. And, you know, whenever I go to Haiti, I do gain a little weight because I'm just eating everything. So, which boosts my weight up to 170. So, when I moved to California, I was 170. And two years later, I'm 200 pounds. So, that's a lot of weight put on. So, yeah. And then, so, for a year, or for two years, I've been trying to, you know, take it, take the weight off. Do what I used to do. My body said, nope, we like this. We like this weight. I did the keto diet. I did it for three months. Only lost like five pounds, which was very discouraging. And then I did the smoothie, which I can't really do often because of my job. I'm a bank teller. And um, it's hard for me to wake up. I started going to the gym in the morning. And going to the gym for a month, I told myself if I don't lose 10 pounds in a month, because it's possible before all you people say it's not possible, it's possible to lose 10 pounds, because that's what I was doing, because I used to be a pageant girl, when I weighed 160, I lost so much weight, I dropped uh, 10 pounds in a month, and became 150 for my pageant, so, but it was unhealthy the way I did it, like, I would starve myself and stuff, but anyway, but, you know, me and my fiance, we both gained weight, so we couldn't motivate each other, and we did, you know, when you say new year, new me, it doesn't happen, but anyway, I'll talk more about it in my next video, um, but for this video, I want to just talk about the, the process, so I'm going to finish eating, and I'm going to fall asleep for two hours. And then, yeah, because I'm getting sleepy. All right, well, guys, see you in a sec. So, guys, I'm getting ready to shower for the first day. I'm so excited. Uh, I'm going to have to use emojis or something uh, to hide my privates because... <sighs> I don't want to be a porn star on YouTube. <laughs> okay, so. so first, I'm going to drink my the pill, take it for infection. You want to do this part by yourself because you could become lightheaded, so make sure that someone is nearby. I got my pads, all of them, my tape, so, and I got my helper that's coming to help me any minute now. Oh, geez, so don't think I'm about to become a porn yeah, star on freaking YouTube. Come over here. I'm just, I'm just serious. Okay, so he's going to help me. How about I do this part? No, because we didn't know that we had tape in the bag. Mr. over here didn't see it. You want to throw the faja in the wash real quick? Mm -hmm. pine salt. Oh yeah, so wash your faja and pine salt. I'm going to throw it in there. Put it on uh, thin and rinse. With, with, uh, you know where the pine salt is, right? Okay, so I'm going to start right here. A little swollen. Hopefully, all this goes down. So I just took a shower. I'm like re repatching myself. Repatching. 
all these weird patches in. Yeah. Right here, those. Oh, sorry, that was my fault. It, whose fault has it been before, guys? Come on. Give this me guy's a bird. been poking every decision. Look at your video. So yeah, guys, uh, I got my garment back on. Sorry for me and my guy arguing. It's just, it's, I don't know. He just keeps poking my areas and poking, you know, the incisions and like, you know, areas. At first, I'm like, okay, it's an accident, but you know, he just kept doing it, so it was just getting aggravating, and you know, they're very painful. And plus, I'm on meds. But yeah, I'm laying back down. I'm about to take a nap. So yeah, stay tuned. <laughs>